Cue the music. All right, welcome back to another video, standees. I know that I say I'm an ecological king, as in I save the world with everything that I do, but I really just spent $500 on online shopping just to appease my capitalistic, you know, needs and wants, because a little retail therapy doesn't hurt anyone, except this time it literally hurts all the whole planet and we could all be dying because I spent that $500 on online shopping and all that fossil fuel could, you know, accumulate. But I'm happy to know that I'm not the only one doing it, so if anything, you know, don't blame me, because I know you all bitches do it the same thing, you know? Amazon... I can't think of any other online shopping, but you know. And it's mostly big corporations that do that, so I don't feel bad at all. Sorry, Earth. But, so today is gonna be a fashion show. Brought to you by me, the model. Okay, just kidding, I probably don't think that I'm hot. But you know, fake it till you make it. It's hot boy winter right now. Yeah. I like to call this outfit, you know, that just woke up from homelessness. Should really be hot. Serving looks, homeless looks right now. Now let's go on to the next outfit. I like to call this outfit the slumber shades of blue waffle. This is obviously a step up from my last outfit, which was a homelessness pajama sleeping outfit, you know? But this really gives like a teenage moment, you know? A little, you know, a little STD around here. But obviously, as you can see, blue, blue, blue. And although this is not blue, this is like a cat blue, you know what I mean? But this is definitely an upgrade from my last sleeping outfit. All right, time for the next outfit. I would call this outfit my North Pole exploration outfit. Because if I go to North Pole, I'll definitely be wearing this and people will be confused. They'll be asking me, are you here to be a researcher? Are you here to explore the North Pole? And to them, I would say, no, I'm here for the fish. Hence my sushi t-shirt. Because obviously I'm here to collect the tuna so I can make my sushi. You know, this is a divine devotion to how much I love nigiri. Is that the right word? I don't know. Oh no, what if, what if that's like a hate crime? Oh my God. But I'm here to say that I'm here to catch all the fish and devour them to make sashimi, to make sushi, if you will. I know I shouldn't be wearing shoes because I'm Asian and I live in a very strict Asian household. So my mom could be coming up here and beating my ass any second if she see these shoes. But just for a clarification, just for justification, these shoes are brand spanking new never been worn before, but it's time to go on to the next outfit. Strike a pose. I originally bought this coat for my mom, but then I thought, I like the coat. I'm gonna steal it from her. And technically I'm the one who owned it because I did buy it with my own money. So it does rightfully belong to me. But anyways, if I don't want anymore, I can definitely give it to my mom because apparently she and I were the same size. What a coincidence. That means that her wardrobe is now my wardrobe. And the website that this was for women's, but I'm very confused because obviously right here on my arm, I don't know if you can read it, it says Tommy. And Tommy is a guy's name. So either the website is wrong or I'm just dumb. And there's another name called Heel Figure, and I don't know who that bitch is. Like, I don't know everyone, even though I am famous on YouTube. I'm really not, but I do trust Tommy. So, he'll figure it out. Next outfit. So, I'm definitely a huge fan of this trench coat, you know? If I wear it like this, without showing my t-shirt, it's like, am I French? Oui, oui, bonjour, bitch. Or, am I Asian, Japanese, you know? With this Japanese and Chinese lettering. Am I French or am I Asian, you know? This is why I like this outfit. This outfit I would have to definitely named the confusion outfit because I'm definitely confused on what I'm doing with my life. And I'm also definitely confused. Do I look good in this or do I look great? Because personally, I think I look amazing. And I feel like this outfit, it's perfect for, you know, sleuthing, you know, like, which bitch stole my food? Which bitch stole my dildo? Just kidding, no, I don't have a dildo. But which bitch stole my dildo, huh? Which bitch did it? But definitely, 
I think it look hot in this, you know? Especially with that side view, you know? Like, really model material right here. Except for my face and my body. But really this energy is like model material. But like really giving a bonjour, je suis an American stupide moment right here, you know? You know what I mean? Really hot. I, just wanna see you, wanna I would like to call this the same me oppa outfit, you know? Because I know after I wear this, all these people will be calling me oppa. If you ever get hit by a car in a middle of nowhere intersection in Busan, Korea, I'll be there to catch you in the rain after your neck be cool. You know, after your neck is broken because the car be zooming, you know, 45 miles per hour. And I know that they don't use miles per hour there, but you know what I mean. You know, that car be zooming, zooming, like zoom, zoom, bitch, you know, hitting into you. And I'll be there to catch you after you get hit, you know, after your limbs are and you're like, a, you know, your neck be broken and everything, your whole body be broken. I'll be there to catch you. But this, this is a little bit edgier than the classic call me oppa Korean drama outfit. You know, this has ripped jeans. And do you know, can you see this? Do you know what this means? It means life, you know? Because in order to afford my own life, when I catch you, you know how much that'll be? That'll be $150 per second of holding you, you know? So you better bounce back or you better stay in my arms and pay me. That's right, pay me for catching you after you're all wet and all bloody. Oh, and as an additional bonus, for every stain of blood that gets on this whole outfit, you know what you owe me? You know what you owe me? $150 per stain. So I need to afford my shaming, my own life. So like, call me Opa when I wear this outfit. All right, thank you so much for watching. I know this is like a lot of trench coats, you know? And I'd be loving a trench coat moment because I think I look hot in them. Like this, call me Opa outfit. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. In the comment section down below, please call me hot or, or ugly, depending on your opinions on my outfit. I will take both because I'm a narcissistic prick and I'll read all of them and either be obsessed with them or ignore them. 50-50 chance, I don't know. And I know this content's a little bit different from what I usually do, you know, but it's still, it's still funny, I think. I, I know, well, I'm only on YouTube because I want the attention and I'm an attention whore. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and most importantly, remember to stay unbothered. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.